Once upon a time, two merchants, who were close friends, prepared for their business trips to sell their merchandise. They faced a decision, should they travel together or separately? Given that each had around 500 carts and would be going to the same destination along the same road, they concluded that it would be too crowded to travel simultaneously. One of the merchants believed it would be more advantageous to go first. He reasoned that by doing so, the road wouldn't be rutted by carts, his bullocks could graze on the freshest grass, and they would have the opportunity to find the best fruits and vegetables. He also thought that his leadership would be appreciated, and he could negotiate for the best prices. The other merchant carefully considered the situation and realized the benefits of going second. He reasoned that his friend's carts would level the road, saving them from doing any road work. Additionally, his bullocks could consume the old rough grass, allowing new tender shoots to grow for his own bullocks to enjoy. Similarly, his friend's group would pick the old produce, creating an opportunity for fresh fruits and vegetables to grow for his own group. He concluded that he wouldn't need to waste time bargaining when he could simply accept the prices already set and make a profit. Thus, they agreed that the first merchant would go ahead. He believed he had outsmarted his friend and secured the better deal. With this, he embarked on his journey, unaware of the challenges that awaited him. As the caravan ventured into the waterless desert, a wilderness rumored to be haunted by demons, they encountered a group of individuals coming from the opposite direction. These individuals, disguised as helpful people, had carts covered in mud and dripping with water. They held lotuses and water lilies in their hands and carts. The head of the group, with a know-it-all attitude, approached the merchant and questioned why they were carrying heavy loads of water. He assured them that an oasis with plenty of water and dates was just ahead. Persuaded by their seemingly helpful advice, the first merchant and his group emptied all their water onto the ground, only to discover that there was no oasis and no water to be found. The travelers realized they had been deceived, and their frustration grew. Exhausted and vulnerable, the entire group, including their bullocks, fell into a deep sleep. During the night, the disguised demons revealed their true terrifying forms and devoured all the defenseless beings, leaving behind only scattered bones. Months later, the second merchant embarked on his journey along the same route. As they reached the waterless desert, he gathered his group and cautioned them about the legends of demons and ghosts haunting the area. He advised them not to drink any local water without consulting him due to the potential presence of poisonous plants and contaminated water. When the disguised demons approached them with their deceptive advice about the nearby oasis, the wise merchant saw through their guise. He recognized the illogicality of an oasis in the waterless desert and noticed their aggressive demeanor. He warned his group not to believe the strangers, suspecting them to be demons. He emphasized the importance of conserving their water until they found a reliable source, as yielding to temptation could leave them weak, thirsty, and vulnerable to robbery or even consumption by the demons. Continuing their journey with caution, they eventually arrived at the gruesome scene where the first caravan had met its tragic end. They salvaged the remaining valuable items and stood guard during the night to ensure their safety. Ultimately, they successfully completed their journey, returning home with their profits and ensuring the well-being of their families. The moral of the story is to always remain wise and vigilant, not falling for deceptive words and false appearances.